G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Ja Woodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die in Alpha 19, we we're back in the Darkness Falls Overhaul mod, coming in to day 25, and I am on the clear other side of the freaking map from where I normally start these things, my normal home base is all the way up there, a full 8 kilometers away, and I'm just like stuck down here in this random nowhere town, but it is somewhere to me because, as you may have noticed already, I am currently shacked up with old matey tradey Gen 80. That didn't work at all, but Jen is here to look after me. How you doing, Jen? Don't mind me. Good to see you. Don't. <laughs> I know it's weird that I'm here so early in the morning. I promise I'm not living in the top of your tower over there. Don't go investigating. But what I do have is a bunch of stuff that I want to sell to you. However, it sounds like... It definitely sounds like that your guards aren't doing dick all right now. Um, listen, Jen, I don't want to tell you that every other man in your life is completely f***ing useless, but they're goddamn useless. There's another break-in. Oh my God, there's a bear over there. There's another break-in happening. This is exactly why I didn't want... Oh, it's a zombie bear too. It's like a whole like, wandering horde showed up. It's exactly why I didn't want to live in Jen's compound because it just draws zombies to the trader base. And trader bases are absolutely goddamn woeful. They're terrible. They're not something you want to live in even at the worst of times. So I'm going to have to move out of here pretty quick smart, I think. But in the meantime, I'm going to like deal with this little horde. Oh, man. Come on, Jen. Do better. Hire better guards. There are zombies everywhere, and they're all coming in, so I'm going to have to quickly get around with my spiky chlamydia club of death and ruin all their faces. That's fine, Jen. Look, I'll learn my keep. Kick all these guys out and give me some room and board. How does that sound to you? Ooh. I thought for a second you were a normal radiator, but it's not fine. It's a regular zombarini. This is going to take a while. Guys, if you want to help out, feel free to pull some triggers. I think that should just about do it. Oh, there's one more around here. That's all right. Ow! Pelicans. Pelicans out of nowhere. <laughs> just hung up to bleed out, didn't you? It was like hanging the meat on the hook to let it just goop all its liquids out to dry it out for transport. G'day, bud. Goodbye, bud. All right, I think that's everyone. Close the door behind us, even though it doesn't freaking matter if the door's closed. We're not giving it a gaping hole in your wall. Huh. <clears throat> Jen, where were we? May I see inventory, please? I want to sell you all of these and all of these and the pink dye as well. Uh, in fact, what am I wearing right now? Stay safe out there. I kind of want to keep you to like repair you, but I don't think it's really worthwhile just this very given moment. So sell that one and that one and that one. Nice. Okay. Thanks Is it trading restock day? I think it might actually Tell be. Maybe yesterday was. But I'm going to quick little gander through here, then get a new job. Actually, no. Screw, screw buying stuff. Screw bloody buying stuff. What jobs do you have? What's the closest one? That one. My whole thing here is to do as many jobs with Jen as possible as quickly as possible. I'm trying to stay as aware as possible that it did take me like a day and a half to get back here. And I can't run the risk of getting my, oh, for goodness sake, getting my mini bike turned off on the way back home if it's going to be going up on Horde night. So I need to leave on the morning of the 27th. Like, non-negotiable kind of thing. I need to get out of here as quickly as possible, get home before it is too late. Let's not worry about double looting. Reset you. Different set of enemies. That's fine. Just make quick work of them. One, two, and one to the right. There's a lot of them. There's a bloody lot of them, but my silence P226, 2225, 224. What is it actually? P225. It's fine. It's got everything covered. Don't worry about it. Not entirely sure where the uh, entrance is. It looks like bulletproof uh, glass on all the windows, though. So, oh, there's the door just there, actually. All right, fair enough then. You are locked, though you won't be for long. We'll just quickly go like, boop. Someone's mad about that somewhere. Oh, there's a wolfy boy tearing the zombie horse to shreds. All right, Wolf, you stay out there and deal with them. I'll do all the Muppets in here. That was like a proper feral too. It wasn't like, oh God, it wasn't like a goopy feral. It was a real feral. All right, I might need to uh, work on my shotgun abilities a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Unlock you. Let you guys out as well. Lots of um radiation suit jets. If I could get any of your clothes and use it for my own purposes, I'd very much appreciate it. Diazepam, no thank you. Well, I'm going to take you anyway. Did cause a bit of a ruckus though. Everyone's kind of mad at me now. My guy's feeling a little bit peckish. I forgot to eat before I left Jen's before, but that's okay. Uh, excuse me. Can that shot count, please? I definitely put that bullet straight into the side of your head. Oh, fine. Fine. If that's how it's going to be, then 
Well, that's just how it's going to be. I'll go for doubles all goddamn long. Goddamn day long, even if I will actually finish the sentence. Llama Jack don't care. I'm not going to take those stupid uh, posts or no challenges anymore. They're not even worth it. You risk your bloody life and you get like 300 experience out of it. I'm just going to kill one zombie and get just as much. More workbench, man. I'm getting lots of those, which is good for... Ooh, scrap you and scrap you. Not going to make either of you any time. Uh, but it's good to get those, um, those skill pages, which is kind of what I'm always after. Oh, there we go. Hazmat mask and two green key cards. Interesting. So now I just need like all the other hazmat stuff. Sorry, but I don't bother getting up for me. Just stay down as you were. Keep your little kip going. Have a nice little lullaby. Um, yeah, all I need is the other rest of the hazmat things that I can go and do whatever I was supposed to do in the wasteland. No, that's where I've already been, but I haven't searched everything in here yet. Just take your time, grab what you can. Some antibiotics, always a good thing. Vitamins, still a good thing. I've got lots of medical supplies. Not much else at the moment, though. Ah, uh, scrap machete. You know what? I'll just, I'll just scrap you. No, I've got the better machete now. I've got two of them. I don't need an extra one. Should just be whatever is left up on the roof. That's, I thought it was definitely going to be a landmine. Turns out it's just a regular cooking pot. So, uh, <gasps> all right, that's fine with me. Let's just get our crouch on and go back to the tried and true method of assassinating everybody zombie up here before they wake up. Is this you? You all slept? I mean, you probably are. Which means I can have my way with you. Oh, no. Got a twin sister in the back corner as well. There we go. Sneaky lure drops. What you got? Just some brass and just some nothing. You, know, you can keep your flannel jacket. I don't really need that at all. No, nothing there either. All right. Hidden stash and a bunch of popping pit. Oh, pick it up so you don't accidentally kick it, Josh. I mean, it might still actually be a landmine. I know that like uh, in Alpha 18, I think you could still pick up the landmine uh, cooking pots. But then they changed that to be that you couldn't do it anymore. So I'm not going to test my fate by trying to lick one of them. I'm going to stay as far away as possible. Nothing really good in any of the boxes. Just a bunch of gunpowder and some glue at the end. What's in the hidden stash? Couple of pieces of shit. And I'll scrap you. All right, fair enough. Let's go back to see old matey Jenny girl. Because she's going to have a reward for me. More importantly, a new quest for me. And that's all I'm here for. Just to get as much favor with her. Earn as many brownie points as I possibly can. Maybe we are married, who knows? All I'm ever doing is just trying to get in the good books to like not have to sleep on the couch tonight or up in my little shack on top of a tower. I'm gonna go back home, turn in this quest, get a new one. What's the time? 8.30 in the morning. That is some express questy boys. That is as quickly as you can possibly do it. Might be able to punch out three, maybe even four quests today. And she's really gonna love me. Not really offering her much, are you there, sweetheart? Let's go you, because you're worth a billion dollar dues. Uh, wooden bow, no. Although that is the most valuable thing you've got. So I'll take that. See your inventory, sell you, you, you. Anything I've got that I don't actually need. You're not worth much at all, actually, which is weird for a mod in this overhaul mod. Uh, got a mushy. Nothing else, really. Thanks all right, the fair business. whackers then. Let's go We're any jobs. Since, you know, we don't have clocks. I've got one on my wrist. Would you like to borrow it for a little bit? Have to get back at the end of the day, though. Whatever that might be. Um, 1.1 kilometers south. That's the next You're closest one. For... The sect followers. Okay, you. fair enough. Good Just luck. bang down there. for whatever I need to do. Jen, I'll be right back. Though, if you want to, like, find some jobs for me a little bit closer to home, I'd appreciate it. It's not so bad, I suppose, because, like, most of whatever, wherever I am, this valley is just dead bloody flat. So the roads aren't super important. I can just kind of point my front wheel in the direction I want to go and just go the entire journey without ever really blinking an eye. Oh, some like, little drops and little divots and stuff coming up, but that's all right. We've already done half the distance as the crow flies, which is always a good time. I don't know what the POI is going to be, though. Like, the sect, the followers of sect something... I don't know. It's probably going to be some really weird whiz-bang place, but I don't know. We'll find out when we get there. Oh, God. Please don't be in the mountains. I hate the bloody mountains. Here we go. This looks like the place. Oh, it's the big M building. It's Megamind's house. Alrighty, righty Then I actually do know this one for when I played it in Ravenhurst way back when. So we can do this nice and quickly. Restart you. It is just a clear quest. Let's quickly run around the outside and murder anyone we find. I thought I definitely hit the second doggo there, but I guess I didn't. That's probably a landmine. That's fine, though. Buried... Buried supplies? What are you doing here? I don't know what you think buried means. I don't think that's the way it's supposed to be going down, but I accept your generous donation either way. Let's make sure everyone on the outside is done and does when we go inside. What a cool looking place. What a cool place for POI, though. Right inside a cliff. I know the cliff is there because of the POI, but it's still fun either way. Let's make this nice and quick. 
as much as we can or apparently walk in the front door and wake up half the world. No. Oh, nice jump, Dick Cheese. Oh, he like reverse matrix that. He was blind on his back. He lured me into the shot and flopped over forward. But you're like the, the new version of Neo. I don't know what pill you took and how you came back into this form, but not sure it was how you intended it to be, but I'm still impressed with your skills. Just opened the door for him. was waiting for me. Yeah. Oh, you're like a proper ratty boy. Well, you were, but now you're gone. Anyone else in here? Not really. Search bookcase. Doesn't look like it's got anything in it, but I'm not going to complain too much. Mini Barker dumb shits. Also known as a couple more skill notes. What have you got? Nothing at all. That's fine. Stupid sexy bookcase. Uh, ooh, first aid kits. Thank you. And some more plastics. What is going on outside? Is it just like a wandering horde that's shown up in the middle of all this? I'm a little bit busy right now. I'll deal with you guys in a bit. Most of the place is empty, which means I think I just need to, um, was it down? Yeah, down there. I never actually went down here in, when I lived in this building in like, was it Ravenhurst? I think I lived in here. So this is going to be an experience. I think I got the crowbar to get myself in there. It's going to take a hot minute. These are all like reinforced iron doors. Thank God I didn't try to double loot this place. It never would have bloody happened. Keep going. Keep going. Down to the last one. I think, I hope. There's another rung of doors behind this bitch. This is super bloody annoying. There you go. Oh, mister. There we go. There we go. Oh, hazmat gloves. Scrap you, scrap you, scrap you. So now all I need is the hazmat chest and I'm done. I have all the hazmat stuff. This might actually work out after all. Jesus, this is a little gruesome. It was like a, a door here with someone in barbed wire cages. I'm starting to think this sect is not up for a particularly good time. Uh, all the zombies are in this one, aren't they? There's still the horde outside. I'll help you with this one. There's still the horde outside, which is going to be causing issues before too long. So I want to try and go a little bit faster, if you don't mind. I'm just in the process of fucking up my crowbar, though, which is kind of annoying. Oh, you're a rat Arlene, too. All right, fair enough. Is just you in there? God damn, we're going to break down every single one of these doors. We're going to be here for freaking ever. Oh, you won't be. You're going to be in the afterlife forever. Goodbye, Arlene. I'll have to break down every single one of these doors to find like the one solitary zombie hiding out behind him. It's gonna be a heckin' long time. There we go, just open the door with a shotgun, open your face with a shotgun. Nothing in there. I still need to find the rest of the bubbles who are alive down here somewhere. Is it this one? Yes, it is. Fine, I'll help you out too. I'm gonna ruin my crowbar doing this. I didn't want to. Should have brought some breaching charges or something. Oh, then after I'm done with this, I'll have to go upstairs and kill the horde as well. This sucks. This is an awful POI. I hate this place. There we go. That's the wrong gun. That's the better gun. Nice. Okay. Medical supplies. I know you're hungry, dude. Got to go bigger fish to fry right now. I'm in the middle of something. That was the last guy. Oh, God. So I can now return to the trader and the Wandering Horde has found their way inside. Out of the way, please. Yeah, now you're stuck in the moat. That's fine. All right. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. <gasps> There's a moo cow. Moo cows might have some more babies for my little, like, farm I've got going on at home. <gasps> you did too. Now, what have I got at home? I got, like, males. I have males or the females? I don't remember. Well, hopefully they're female because now I have some male cows. I've got some husbandry going on. Waste not, want not. Take some beefy boys out of you. All right. Let's get back to Trady Jen. That sucks. That was an awful POI. Don't send me there again, Jen. I hated it. Nice and quick, Jen. I've returned. I know your other quests are a fair way away, but that's right. I'm willing to do anything Another for you just to see you smile at me. We're running a off sale for the rest of the day. So many voices in my head. Could get a baseball bat, a wood splitter mod. I'd take that one. I'll take the bandolier mod as well because you're worth so much dollar reduce. Thank you. Uh, sell you. Remember I'll keep the wood splitter mod actually supplies. and slide you into... You've already got one. You've already got one. Let's put you into here then. Modify. There you go. Just increase my crowbar just that little bit. Uh, I'll dump the rest of this stuff inside. In fact, here, you can also take this one. Thank there you we so go. Much. My Come pleasure. Again. I definitely will, sweetheart. Uh, let's go. It's only a tier one. Let's go that one this then. Is the best way to get Duke. Kung Fu school? Gotcha. All right. No me, whackers. I will give you employee of the month. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me it's actually something interesting. So two more jobs this week. I don't want employee of the month. I want information. What was it? Is that to the west, wasn't it? Shit, where'd you send me? Um, tier 2 clear. Show on map. 
Yeah, okay, so back up to that road, take the highway north. That should be doable. All right, Jen, let's drop some shit off in your tower. Don't mind me. Can someone please deal with that zombie? Because I don't want to have to do everything around here. God. I just noticed that I'm running dangerously low on gas, and I didn't actually bring any of my spare gasoline with me, so... Jesus Christ, do you learn how to handle your mini bike for two seconds? I know it's super speedy and powerful and stuff, but you shouldn't be spinning out like that just from going over a little itty bitty hump. So hopefully I can come across like a car or something along here along the way, because I kind of need some gas and I don't want to have to go and like stick my thumb out and hitchhike one of these smelly fucks. There's no cars, is there? 2% battery. Oh, right next to a Wolfie Boy too. Don't mind me, passing through. This might be a problem. Gonna have to get on the hoof. I'm not too far away from the town at the very least. That's another doggo. All right, you can stop with the attack of the dogs. That's all right. I didn't really need to know about that. <sighs> Shit. Uh, right, take you. Never mind. On the old trot again. Damn it. The plus side is that because I am on the old spaghettis, I can actually stop and grab some fruit from whatever fruit tree I come across. Basically, I seem to live in an orchard. Let's grab you, smash down a whole bunch of apple goodness, turn yourself into a cinnamon crusted pie. Nom nom nom. There we go, that full food. Who even needs to worry about getting home and getting food into you? That's the thing, you know, like, yeah, there's all that, like the better foods and stuff like that, but why do I waste time make myself an average quality meat stew when I can just cut down any apple tree I find like I'm freaking called Johnny, or reverse Johnny, actually. He planted apple trees, I'm cutting them down. But let's keep doing that and keep myself fed and keep myself happy. It takes a risk out of everything. Here we go. This is the place just here. Hopefully there's a car or something around here that I can very cheekily, uh use for my own purposes. I just need to just siphon all the gas possible out of you. Um, I want to have like a look inside first. Can I get up on the wall? No, I just want to have a cheeky gander inside. Although, why would there be a car at like a martial arts do uh, dojo? I don't... That's bloody cool. Look at them all sitting on their mats. That's actually sick. Well played to whoever set up this POI. That's actually really well done. No signs of any cars though. All right, well, fair whackers then. Let's just reset you. Get the old sniper rifle out. Make sure you're nice and loaded and ready to go. Can I just go like... And slowly pick each and every single one of you guys off? Because if I can, that's going to make my life a whole lot easier. It looks like I bloody can too. All right. Whoever needs bows? Who needs crossbows or anything? Just roll up on the master rifle. I've actually been meaning to play a game like this for a while. Like have a silence marksman rifle as like my main go-to uh, like raiding weapon. I just haven't really had the chance yet, but like it seems to work out pretty well for now. Are you coming for me or did you just wake up and go for a trundle? There you are. Oh, thanks for joining me at the front door. Hope you enjoyed your trip. Oh, kid, hey? Holy shit. A tier 36 AK, g'day Anna, how you doing? Some breaching charges, could've used those a second ago. But more importantly, some coil gun parts. Always a good bloody time when you find a coil gun shit wherever you may go. What's in you? Some steel and a spear. <gasps> Cracker book stuff. All right, don't mind if I bloody do, lads. What have you got for me? I'll scrap you, thank you for the skill notes. Nothing there, nothing there. I don't think there ever is anything actually in these like storage chests. Gun store box, some bullets, and nothing in the garage storage. All right, that's fine, that's fine. Don't mind me, I'll get inside and kill the rest of you in a second. I'll just have them, I'm getting my looting gogs on. I'm just going loud, oh geez, you get everyone. I'm just going loud for this next bit, given that everyone is already awake anyway, so may as well lean on the shotgun just that little bit. I can hear someone in here, yeah, I haven't, ooh. G'day, love. I haven't quite cleared all the areas yet, but I will have very soon. Unlocked. No one waiting for me in there. That was the last one, actually. All right, we are done. Lots of cracker books around, though. We're not done looting. Scrap and scrap. Get lots of skill pages. We want to actually be able to afford making ourselves a mastery book before too long. And that was a dream I didn't think I'd achieve. This place is done, so we can now leave, but we can't actually go all the way back to Jen's just yet because we still have no gas. So priority number one now is just to keep on exploring around and hopefully see something in the distance somewhere that might either resemble a car or a gas barrel or something. Something I can burn in the gas tank of my bike is all I'm after right now. I'm not really asking all that much, but I feel like it's going to be a bridge too far given some of the other shit I've gone through lately. So... I think just follow, like following this dirt path is probably the way to go. I feel like these areas aren't going to have like any gas cans or anything like that for me. I'm kind of on my own in that sense. So I'll just keep following this path here. Keep on trundling about and crossing my fingers and my toesies. Oh, maybe. That looks like an outpost. There'll be landmines there, but there should also be like oh, a truck or something over here. 
anything over here. Anything I can burn other than like a body will be perfect. Yes, there we go. There's a truck. Truck has gas. Gas for me. Oh my lord. There's a fucking demo with a thousand health. Things just got interesting. And by interesting, I mean the game just um didn't even loop up. It hasn't even looped up at this point. It's just like flopped it out and it's like, this is what's coming for you pretty soon, knackers. And I'm, uh, I'm like, I don't really want to do that right now, but I don't really have an option. Do I go for his nipple or do I go for him? I need, I can't take the shot on this idiot because I don't want to lose my stealth damage. So are you dead? No. One more shot. Still not dead. I only did like two thirds damage. Okay, he's dead. That was not fun. Two full mags of silenced rifle was only enough to just kill him. And most of those had to be headshots. That's bad bloody news. That is not exciting even in the littlest degree. And you didn't even give me anything good anyway. A couple of pieces of shit. You're a piece of shit, Demo. How does that feel? There's some gas cans that I'm always excited for. Some dropped loot. Another call gun grip. Is that call gun ammo, actually? It was call gun ammo. Thank you very much. Some random armor gobs. That's not what I'm after. There we go. That's what I needed. 300 gas. Need a little bit more though. That's uh, not quite enough to get me home, I don't think. I'll keep searching the rest of these though. No. There we go. 500 should be enough. That's half a full can of gas for the mini bike. While we're here, we may as well just finish clearing. It wasn't really on my list of things to do today, but you forced my hand. Uh, I think most of them live inside like the medical hut over there, but there should also be some like up here. So let's just quickly jump upstairs. Oh, don't mur don't kill the bloody weapons bag behind him. What have you got? Some frocket rags and a receiver. Some mods. Ooh. They're worth a lot of money, actually. If I wanted to stick one of you into there. There you go. Make my crowbar as good and wonderful as it can be. I'd love to get like a structural grip mod or something like that. Something to just increase the longevity of my crowbar. But that's a pipe dream for later, Woodle. What else is around? Anyone in here? There will be. Open you. Shotgun back out. Oh, Lord. I should not have run in there. I got way too ambitious, way too quickly. What am I going to do? What am I going to do about his fucking nipples? I don't want his nipples. I don't want your nipples today. Fuck off. Yes, nice and slow. You piss off too. Oh, he's going to kill me. I'm scared. I don't like demos. Fuck off with you. God damn, I hate you. I'm doing like no damage to him too. I need like some, some, come out here. Look, there's lots of landmines out here. Come play in the field. I promise nothing will go wrong. Here we go. Here we go. Perfect. All right, while he's down, he's so close to death. Another coupler. If you stop wiggling and waggling, I'll put you out of your misery, knackers. Oh my God, seriously? 18 more health? I'm not going to take a risk by running over there and punching you in the teeth. I hate demos. I hate demos so freaking much. Even though I've played bloody wastelands with random demo spawns, even seeing them now makes me pucker an awful fucking lot. Uh, what else we got? Should I have some more upstairs? My shotgun's almost dead. That's some average shooting, Woodle. Average fucking shooting. There you go. Actually take your time and line it up, and you might actually hit a target or two. Anything even good in here? Search the cabinets. There's some sham and some animal fats. Some blood bags. I mean, it's probably my blood. It's kind of the thing as well. When I pull the blood out of my body. Oh, it's a bloody loot bag outside. I completely forgot about. What have you got for me? More green key cards and a schematic. Take you. Scrap the other one. Um, yeah, it's kind of like the thing when I tucked all the blood out of my arms, I should have been able to just like put it back in again and stop myself having a heart attack, right? But I didn't pull the poison out the first time. Just like put your mouth and get it into the hose and it's like, just, like blow it back in your arm, pull it out again. You know, just like in and out and in and out. It's what a dialysis machine is. Just like give yourself random <laughs> DIY dialysis in the apocalypse. What could go wrong? Also, nothing in the chests. Uh, all right, I think we're pretty much done here. We're probably not going to make it home before nightfall, but fortunately in Darkness Falls, that doesn't mean dick all, so I'm not too concerned about it. Just like swing around here, follow the roads. Having actual roads to drive along makes life so much better as well. Look at me wag my little face in glee. As if I had a tail attached to my shoulders, just like wiggle waggle back and forth. That's a happy I bloody am. So we'll go back, turn in the quests. I'm hoping that might be enough to get Jen's favor. I think I only did like maybe five or six uh, for Trader, uh, Trader Dickbag back in the old town. So I think this is the fifth job I've done for Trader Jen. 
Oh, for goodness sake. Come on. Keep your wheels on the ground and your eyes on the prize. Not on uh, Jen's rather ludicrously endowments. -ness. Sentences. Sorry, I got distracted by what I was thinking about. But like, yeah, if I do five jobs for her, maybe that's going to be enough for her to give me some love and give me what I need. Don't know. I live in hope of that, though. I just want to know what the next step is. Once again, the guards at Jen's just aren't doing their job. There's a Muppet just trampling around in a flower garden outside. No one seems to give two shits, but I do, Jen. I am the one. I am the only. I am all that you bloody well, you need. I need to stop talking to you before one of you stops talking. I will take you. I will take... Those, I suppose. Not really my first... <gasps> that was enough. That was enough. Okay, can you teach me any new recipes? No, you can't. You can teach me lots of new positions, though, I'm sure. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, any other work? Open trade routes T1. Where to? 5.7 kilometers north. That should be... Alright, so that's the wasteland there. And it's... I wish we could zoom the map out more. Jeez, I hate that. It's kind of there. I don't know who it's telling me to go and see. Trader Hugh... Don't know. I don't know. But at least I got the thing that I wanted to do. Uh, teach me crafting better. No, I think I've done all of that. All right. Well, real quick, Jen. Can you buy some of this shit I got on me right now? Don't need you. I don't need the nugs. Just I'm carrying so much garbage right now. I just want to free up some space. I think now that we've done that, I think we can leave this place. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I'll stick around for maybe one more day and kind of investigate what else is going on around here. But I think once I've got the quest to go see the next tradie... Like, once again, it's skipping old mate Trader Bobby over here. I don't know why Bobby's, like, pissed off, whoever is pissed off, but no one wants to send me over to send my business to him. So that's a completely different one. I'm kind of hoping that eventually one of these traders is going to send me on a quest that's actually going to mean something for the Darkness Falls story, but I think they might be living a little bit in hope and not actually in reality. Let's just put the rest of you guys away. I have so much random crap. I can't take this stuff home with me. I just can't. I need to start figuring out what I do want to take and what I can't take. Because half this stuff's getting left behind. I'm just kind of staring at this map trying to figure out what the best way to go about this is going to be. Because, like, so... That's there, right? So that's four kilometers away from me. And old matey up here is... Five... So it's two kilometers... Almost diagonally. So probably, like, three kilometers as the crow... No, that's not how that works at all. That's absolutely not how triangles work, Josh. But, like, a good couple more clicks north. So maybe it's not in the wasteland. I don't... 100% no. So I'm trying to sort the best way to get there's going to be. Is it through Bookville? Do I come out here, head uh, west through there, and then that's going to be in the wasteland? Or, like, it's almost kind of in line with my OG town, but I know there's no roads heading west out of there. But there is one in the northern town. So maybe the way to go is to go back home, bang out through this way, follow that little road uh, all the way out as far as I can. But it's not a highway, though. It's a dirt track leading to a POI somewhere. So I doubt it's going to run me all the way out to there. Oh my god, do I miss the gyro these days. I don't know. I'm going to have to make a decision about that and figure out what I'm going to do tomorrow. I might even stay here and do another quest for Jenny Girl. She is Jenny Girl after all. And she probably deserves a little bit more attention than just what I need to get something out of her. And then once I've got what I want, just like fucking off. And not even stop, stop me to give her a cheeky cuddle or two. But I'll have to give her a cuddle or two in the next episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the Patreon Patreon who made this episode possible. If y'all want to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.